Uh, hi, we're going to make a uh, uh, pork uh, cannabis chamin today. Uh, we're we going to use uh, like, you can use any kind of pork, but like pork loins and uh, pork tenders and pork shoulder, any kind of pork, but uh, uh, find the one kind of length one. So, so uh, we, we, we have about a, about half a pound here. So, uh, so we cut them in in a small strip. Okay. <coughs> then, uh, then we have to cut them, marinate them. So uh, we're gonna put little, uh, little white pepper, sesame seed oil, just a little bit, uh, and little salt, just a little bit, you know, just like that, you know. And uh, put a little egg in it, probably a one third of the egg. This doesn't make any different the uh, egg white or egg yolk. So we put a little bit in it. Okay. And you mix them around, uh, mix them up. Like that. <coughs> then uh, you're gonna put a little cornstarch in it. Right there, like right that. Maybe not enough, maybe a little bit more, it's still too kind of runny, so maybe put it Okay, so that's about it. Then a uh, little oil. <coughs> okay. Okay, that's ready. Then we're gonna cook with uh, Cantonese charmin that uh, they call that steamed noodles, steamed noodles, like that. And they already cook, they already cook, and we use about about half a pound. It'll be less than a half a pound, maybe just like that much. Okay. And uh, okay, then we're gonna cook the, we're gonna boil them a little bit. Because they are too dry, so uh, they even they already cook, but you have to you have to kind of uh, kind of heat, kind of boil them just a, a minute or a couple of seconds or something. Then you just cook some water. Wait until it it's boiling. See? Wait until it's boiling. Okay, let's see that boiling. You just put uh, put them in it. For just a few seconds, just a little while like that, and you you can pick it up. Okay, then you can pick it up. First, you have to pan fry these because Cantonese noodle they are on the bottom. See, and we put all this meat and vegetable on the top. And first, we have to pan fry the the charming the, the Cantonese noodle. 
And all you have to do is just boil them a little bit, heat it up, and just hand fry them. Just put your put your oil in it. See. So you wait until you heat up, then you put this in it. And watch the fire, put it up in about medium or low. Put the medium and low about like that, you see that? See the fire like that. So let it, let them pan fry a little bit. Then you can take a look at it and open it. You see that the bottom, you can see it. And also you can also add some uh, oil into it. And turn the, the heat kind of up and down, you know, watch the, the how much heat you got. If you're too high, you turn it down. And it, it's not enough heat, you just turn it back up. See, and they, you see them there, kind of brown it up, kind of brown it up. That's why we call that pan fry, you know, the noodle. Keep it on medium heat. Yeah, I, I, uh, a lot of people are different. You know, some people they they make the chowmin noodle. They fry this up in a in a oil, but uh, I like it like that. Kind of kind of soft, you know, in the inside, but not crisp. I don't like it crispy. You can check it, you know, you see the inside there. They are browning up pretty good. I think that's about it. That you see that pretty brown, you know, that you can tell. Okay. Then we put it up. So it's ready. So you can uh, you clean the the wok. So now we're gonna cook the uh, the meat first. And we're gonna use uh, onions and bean sprout. Bean sprout about maybe a handful or some uh, mushroom and uh, green onions and some little bit of uh, sliced uh, celery and some pea pot. Okay, like that. Oh, and I forget one thing. We're gonna also, we can put them in uh, the little uh, mushroom, Chinese mushroom in it. And you have to soak this uh, overnight in water. So we use them the next day. And we only use a few pieces for the flavor. See, we put the mushroom in here. And that get the, they add the, the, the flavor on the, on the charming, on the cannonese charming. I think we only use that much, uh, should be enough. Uh, Okay, we only use a few slices. All right, then we... So we can... We 
you're gonna cook the the meat first. Okay, then uh, we put this in. Kind of mix, uh, try to separate them. Don't, don't uh, stick together. See? Because they are still stripped and they are very easy to cook. Okay, I think they are ready. They are cooked. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna cook the vegetable right now. Just a little bit oil in it and first we have to put the onion in it try to get the little brown the onion then we put the, a, a teaspoon of uh, ginger and a teaspoon of uh, garlic in it Okay, and it brown up the onion pretty good, so, and also the onions and the ginger. And now we put the vegetable in it. Okay, then we put uh, about about half tablespoon of uh, dark soy sauce in it. Then we need uh, two two cups around two cup of uh, uh, water or chicken broth. Okay, that's about two cups. Oh, okay, so now we're gonna put the flavoring in it. So we need a uh, uh, couple spoon of uh, uh, cooking wine and uh, maybe Two spoon of uh, oyster sauce, tablespoon of oyster sauce, two tablespoon of oyster sauce, and some uh, little bit of white pepper and sesame seed oil. Okay. So let it cook a little bit, and I we're gonna put those. Uh, uh, sauce in it, make it like a little gravy. So uh, we need some uh, we need a little cornstarch to make that. Cornstarch and little water. Okay, then they mix together. Okay.
pit and you just put, try to put a little bit at the time. So you just put a little bit in it. Uh, especially for the Cantonese chamin, you don't want to make it real sticky or thick. You know, so you kind of watch, go slowly. Try, uh, take your time. Okay, that's about right. Then now you're ready to put the meat in it. Well, yeah, that's about right. Okay. Uh, I think that's okay. So uh, now we're gonna put that over the the Cantonese noodle. Okay, that's a pork Cantonese charming.